Okay, thank you. Thank you. Ready? Even though he's had a lifetime to get ready, I'm extremely nervous. It doesn't seem like enough. Christian Guerrero lives in Maryland now, but he's from Austin. You see, he was born at the old Brackenridge Hospital on June 1st, 1972. It's also the last day he saw his mom. I've been looking for uh, really hard since uh, Christmas of last year. A DNA test as a Christmas gift, a Facebook group for people like Christian, and a genealogist named Lois, all coming together to find a mom who at 14 years old gave up Christian for adoption. There's a connection, a bond with, with your mother that's... I can't really explain it, but I've, I've never had it. And uh, once I found her, I, I saw her picture. And I just, I knew it was her. And, um, you know, I, I just, uh, that hole that I had just started to fill up. And you know, I can't wait to meet her. Here we go. Good luck. <laughs> it's funny how, after a lifetime of waiting, five minutes can right seem now, like an eternity. Right. They've talked on the phone before. But there's no phone that can do this. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Hi, son. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so good to see you finally. <laughs> the last time I saw him was when I held him in my arms as a baby, and I was just a, a young 14-year-old teenager, and and it was very difficult to let him go. It, for me, it's it's filled a a hole that I've had in my heart for a long time, and I'm all again. Mm, it's okay. You're here now. We're together now. Now they have five days together to catch up on a lifetime of stories and the rest of their lives to make new ones. John Dabkovich, KXAN News.